You know, I should probably turn on some music before we get going. There's some music. Uh, I gotta click on a thing. Gallium, yay! Only I didn't have a bunch of those. Oh, hey! Uh, the Dex Nurturely Sindana is. Uh, is available. Well, let's, uh... Man, what am I even gonna do for today? Oh, I know what I'm gonna do for today. Uh, let's grab Frost. Okay, 35 minutes till night. I'm not... I'm not sure if I want to do Eidolons tonight. Uh, we've been doing a lot of Eidolons, um... Uh, and they're kind of a pain. Uh, mainly, I get a lot of complaints from people that Eidolons are kind of impossible. Uh... This looks nice. I don't like this remix at all. Uh, if I have to, I'll switch to something else. Let's see, that's... this is a nowhere. Um, but yeah, I get a lot of complaints because effectively fighting Eidolons is borderline unwatchable. And I'd like to get my moat fixed up first. So where's the, uh... So th this is new. This walkway is new. And cannot be passed through. Can I, can I work on it? No, I have to, I have to find another spot to get it to go. Is it here? Ammo drums are currency. Great. Uh, I'm not changing that. I would like to go fishing, though. Uh, because I do need, I do need a whole hell of a lot of things. Um, what are these? These are neat. What is this? Unfortunately, I have the sound effects turned way low on this game. So... What specifically did you have in mind for me to take a look at, apart from the drums? We've got some, like, neat, neat little shriny things, which I appreciate. I assume we can't, like, really spam too much in here. Right. Why do I keep going in there? There's, there's nothing in it. I like the idea of the clan hall. I just wish that there was like more you could kind of do with some of these things, because like this walkway is neat, but it goes nowhere. Well, uh, I'm gonna. Oh, you were actually saying stuff in clan chat. Building stuff. All the blue stuff is new faction deco. Yeah, I mean it looks nice. They've uh, they've definitely like improved the visuals for clan halls. And like the stuff that you can put in. Oh, the pipes! The pipes are new. Oh, these. Okay, this is cooler looking. Now that I'm looking at it, I didn't even notice because it, it blended in really well. Okay, so I'm gonna pop out. I want to go do that. Uh, get that Cyandana. Because uh, there's that. I assume it's not too long. Dex, survival. Oh. Nope. Why did I do all of the things that I just did? I'll just bow out. I might as well uh, set it on a friends only so people can join me. Instead of joining a puppy run. I mean, I assume most people have already done this, but... I was like, alright, I'm gonna pick the mission, then I'll then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do, and then it's like, wait a second, no, that's not that's not what I'm supposed uh, I'm not. I am not coordinated today. That's a board mission. See you suckers later. I got other shit to do. Okay. Ah, uh, so who do I roll for this one? I mean Banshee's like late kinda lazy mode. I you know, best is probably just Ember. Ember is true lazy run. I could run uh, Excalibur. I really like the new skin for him. Looks nice. I just never use Excalibur for, like, anything. And yeah, the mission is easy anyway. Yeah. Oh, it's a melee-only mission. Well then. In that case, let's, uh, let's get a cool-looking sword. Go on. Because I've got my guns in, but I'm probably not going to get any EXP from that uh, from this run, even if I wanted to. Uh, war? Sure, War. I got this skin for war, and it looks really nice, and then I've just never, never used it. Okay, so if any of you guys actually care about, uh, doing this one, 
feel free to join. Or not. I don't care. Uh, I should be able to just join. If you haven't friended me on, uh, on Warframe yet, feel free to. I'm mildly distracted. I wanted to take a look at just how angry people at, uh, were at me for the, uh, the goofy Sword Art Online video I put out earlier today. I, uh, I have a thing against tutorials. I should probably maybe temper this a little bit. Uh, I had some flack previously because I, I had spent too much time ranting about things, but I don't know. After 150, 60 episodes or something like that, uh, I've kind of like run out of game to talk about, and now I'm just like, eh, let's just talk about whatever. Anyway, so I got a thing against tutorials. I feel like tutorials are overdone in games nowadays. I'm not entirely sure where this this thing came from, this trend. Um, but a lot of uh, a lot of games have like really been pushing deeper and longer tutorials when they don't really need to. Uh, was I doing recently? Um, it was. Well, I mean, Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I did a series on recently. A full series, start to finish, I think our final tutorial bit pop-up thing was like episode 60 or 70, like something ridiculous like that. Which is like way, way late in a series, and it's just like, what? You know, why did this need to be, uh, you know, held until the very end? I mean, it was a... It was a new mechanic, but it just was like, I've, I think I can figure it out at this point. I'd hope. Uh, it always shocks me when uh, when games specifically kind of act like um, you can't figure them out. It makes me sad because like there's a lot of there's a lot of like uh, great games out there that I've totally just passed on because I didn't want to deal with the tutorial. It's like, do you really want to do a, a 20, 30 minute? Tutorial just so you can play a game for like an hour and a half. Not sure For me I get kind of iffy about that sort of thing uh, But so I did a uh, I did a what hour hour and a half of this most recent Sword Art Online game And it was just all tutorial and cutscenes and I'm just like man. I would love to play this game Can I play this game, please? Can I shoot things? um like, the, the, the trick is, what you want to do is you kind of want to pace the tutorial. If you do need hefty tutorials or cutscenes or anything like that, the last thing people generally want to do is, um... I might have wanted to bring my, um... I, maybe I should have actually brought one of my other characters. Eh, whatever. I'll be fine. I probably won't take too, too much damage from this. Um, but you gotta, like, pace it out. There are a couple of games that do it well, and there's a couple that don't. Uh, Persona was always kind of the, maybe one of the more egregious offenders of this. You could spend hours going through, like, cutscenes and stuff. Um, and, like, eventually you get the ability to play, and you're like, yes, I can finally explore, like, this dungeon, I can fight things, I can see gameplay. And then it's like, on second thought, we should leave now, and you're like, but I wanted to play a game. Like, this is an RPG, right? This has RPG mechanics for me to ostensibly play and like yeah you have to you have to find a good middle ground because like obviously you want to have like your story based game have story um but you also want to make sure your players can you know have some freedom otherwise it just feels claustrophobic and um you know i'm not actually sure how i would uh factor warframe um seeing as you know we're playing warframe i figure i should probably put it on the list somewhere it's kind of like, here's like one or two tutorials, and then good luck! <laughs> uh, have fun figuring out the rest. Uh, I got an email today uh, from somebody asking me to help them uh, get through the game. And they're stuck on Earth. And the answer is, as always, unfortunately I don't have time for that sort of thing, just in general. Oh, I ran out of energy, didn't I? Or I'm about to run out of energy. I guess rolling... Uh, Ember with this was maybe not the brightest. Oh well, we'll figure it out. I think the problem with Warframes, it's isn't so much that it's uh that it's uh it's 
it doesn't have issues with the um, with tutorializ tutorialization as so much just throwing you to the wild and not really um, it throws you into the wild and it doesn't really like pace the content it's just like good luck you have a lot to get through and to some degree like fast tracks would be lovely I used to kind of be able to just fast track around wherever I wanted to go um, back in the day, and I think now it's like more linear, or maybe it was super linear. I don't know. Uh, so part of it is I played this game back in, you know, when it first came out, uh, and so I I got to like Saris immediately somehow, and I'm not really sure how or why, and I was getting my ass kicked, and it was very confusing. Oh good, I am getting some HP back here. I was worried about that. These guys are not hard, but there's enough of them that it's a problem. Um, but so when I finally came up to the, uh, came up, when I came back to this series, I was actually like super confused because they changed everything on me and then some. And then, uh, you know, whenever anybody asks me, like, hey, can you help me through the game? I'm like, one, I don't know how anymore. I might actually go down here. I did not build my Banshee for as much efficiency as I thought I was going to. Oh, well, it's not the end of the world. I'm just going to hit things here while I wait. My health is coming back. I guess the other thing is, if I'm really desperate for uh, health, I can just run around as my operator for a while. That's one way to do it. Yeah, if I really wanted to have an easy time, I probably should have rolled Nidus. Nidus is, like, my jam. I should just use him more often. Ow. Let's just solve this problem. There we go. How much time do we got left? Three minutes. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Nidus, Nidus Deluxe was talked about in the primetime stream. Ooh, I'm excited. Nidus is my favorite, uh, and he has, like, no skins. Hopefully, uh, there's some good Tenogen stuff in the, uh, pipeline. I could have run Volt. Hi. Volt was my first frame that I actually, like, spent time with. I like him, but I really only use him for... Well, I don't actually use him anymore, because the, the things I used Nidus for got removed for the game. I used to do a lot of uh, uh, Void Sabotage, which I guess still exists, but like nobody gives a shit about it anymore. I did uh, tons of Void Sabotage back in the day when, um, when Loki Prime was... being vaulted. Because I wanted to get Loki Prime before he, he went kaput. And admittedly, it's not like that big of a deal. Because you don't need Primes, and honestly, I could have gotten the bits anyway. But still. Just the other thing that I could have done was just get Rage. Rage could work. Just good affinity, honestly. Weird. But yeah, just to cap off the rant about like over tutorialization and over cutscene and stuff, I think I don't mind if I don't have to do anything. The the thing that bugs me, I think, about over over tutorialization in games is when I have to like interact. Um, if I have to press a button to proceed uh, to advance the dialogue, oh, that gets my goat and then some. Uh, there's not a whole lot of JRPGs uh, that do this, honestly, which is good. And there's definitely not a lot of, like, um, of, like, Western games or indie games where you really have to, like, push the cutscenes along. Mass Effect Andromeda had this, this problem where it's just like, just give me a bunch of cutscenes. I don't need my input on every little thing uh, so I can get to the game faster. Because yeah, I don't want to have to push a button every, like, 20 seconds just so my character can say some glib response.
Oh yeah, we've just got a bunch of Eximuses around here. Go figure I'm not keeping my, my energy up. Should probably actually use this. You prefer tutorials that play themselves. You can go eat vin uh, dinner, wait for it to finish, then play the game. I mean, the problem is, is like, tutorials and like intro cutscenes get wrapped up into the same thing. So like, it, it's kind of a Pavlovian response at this point. If I see a tutorial, I just mentally check out. If I see, you know, introductory plot uh, cutscenes, I check out. And it is just super frustrating for me to specifically have to like press A, 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 or X, X, X. Um, whenever a character is done with their, you know, quippy little dialogue, especially if it's the same quippy dialogue that's been said before, it's like, oh, yeah, I don't want this. Not really. But I do like games where I can sit back and just kind of relax for a while and watch the uh, cutscenes roll. Okay, Allegra, I'll... sorry, I missed your friend request. I'll get it on this one. What's a game that had a really good intro or setup? I mean, honestly, I guess I brought up Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which, yeah, did have over-tutorialization and, like, spread it out too much. It also had very friendly cutscenes that you could just sit back and watch for a while. And that was really, uh, oops, these are, these are plans. I want friends. But Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I could just sit back and watch the cutscenes flow. I didn't have to press a button to advance dialogue. I only had to do that during certain things. Hey, so we get a nice... Uh... Sandana. Let's put it on. Oh, no, nope, that's Regalia. Huh. I forgot I had this one. Ooh, it is pretty. Where did I get this one from? Oh, that's from the Octavia Deluxe, isn't it? This one. That's nice looking. Fits well with the color set. Still looks kind of weird. I don't know, the signed autos are neat, but they always just remind me of tentacles. It's very strange. Okay, so we want to go... I want to go fishing. And mining and stuff, which I'm sorry, this is probably not going to be the most exciting. Let's go Nidus, probably. Tales of Bursaria had a great tutorial. Man, I don't even remember tutorials in the Tales of games. Usually it just was like super simple puzzles. Um, and not much more. Actually, I'm gonna clear vote for a second. What do I need anyway? Signed on on the tentacle frame. I already have a signed on on this thing. Why don't I use animation sets? I do actually, I just forget about them. Not infrequently. Oh! They added, uh... They added extra categories in the foundry. Oh, that's nice. Alright. Uh, what did I need again? I need... Let's see, can I write this down anywhere? Not on that. Yeah, I wanted to play Tales of Bursaria, but I didn't really like uh, Zestiria, was it? I think it was Zestiria, the pre the predecessor. Technically sequel? I didn't enjoy it that much, so I was kind of like, meh. Kind of wish I had, but whatever. Okay, so which one did I want? Pyro, help me out here. Which ones of these were the ones that I was actually working for? How much did I not need? Because I need the Jutney Brace. Was I doing 232? I think I was doing 232. I wanted the homing one. I don't remember what else. Okay, so. Cetus Wisp. Okay, so we needed the brace. Flak blast or I think the I want I think I wanted the Shrak soon, not the Klebrick, right? I 
Okay, Schwack is the Plasmor. Homing is the Klebrick. Okay, so we wanted the Klebrick and the Schwack, Schwack then. Okay, so we need... Okay, so I need 30, 50 Cetus Wisps. Twenty Escher Devar. Five Cuthel. How much fair steel? Five fair steel. Norg brains. Just two Norg brains. And fourteen fish oil. So, not too much. I just need to go get, um, 35 freaking Cetus Wisps. And then some mining. Luckily, we don't have to go after, like, the Copewriter more for the Shrak Sun. Okay, well, to the plains we go, and I'll kind of pay attention to this. You know what this game needs? It needs the Monster Hunter thing where you can, um, you can mark a, a blueprint and be like... Let me know when I've got all the stuff for this so I don't have to keep checking. I actually am kind of surprised that they don't have that for how much you farm in this game. Like, you think you could actually just easily have, like, a little checklist running it. Like, uh, kind of like a uh, I don't know how many of you guys played World of Warcraft or whatever, but just like a, a little WoW Quest-like laundry list of all the things you want to grab. Uh, and need to farm for. Because that'd be nice. That'd be really nice. Okay, so I think I'm going to run around... Oh, shoot. What do I need for Escher Devar? Because I think Escher Devar is... Um... Escher Devar, I just need regular Devar. Devar Ore. Okay, so I'm going to run around mining for a bit. Probably. I think that's the easiest and best thing for me to do. Oh, hey, Ninja Man. Welcome. Uh, today is the day where Wander finally sits down and gets the stupid... Uh, his, his stupid, like, Eidolon hunting equipment together. Unfortunately, I don't know where to find Devar, so I'm just going to wander around mining stuff until we get whatever I need. You're gonna fish or mine? Uh, I'm gonna do both. I think I need to go fishing at nighttime. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, and yes, mark wisps for me. If you see them, that would make my life a lot easier. I wonder what other, like, major quality of life things Warframe could use. I mean, there's tons. There's always tons. I still want some kind of, like, a uh, vehicle in this game. Like, a. Uh... Oh, I hate doing this, but the Sparrow from Destiny was always fun to drive around on, and I'm kind of shocked that they don't have something like that. Ooh, multi-number building. Yes! Yes, please, and a half. I, I'm i really disappointed you can't queue up, like, a bunch of forma. Because uh, if you can queue up, like, a bunch of formas or ciphers or whatever... Hey, Devar! That would make life just so much easier. Okay, oh. Too many waypoints. Looks like he might have moved it, too. Well, I see the... I see the wisp over here. Guess I'm just gonna follow you around. Will you mark, uh, wisps for me? Mining as I go. Let's see. Wonder if you ever played Legend of Mana. Uh, I played Secret of Mana, the... the remake. Or the... the 3D remake that came out recently. It was good. Um... Buggy. I should check to see if they fixed it yet. Uh, 
Was something marked over here? Did I already get it? I'm confused. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. 3.2 is the cave entrance. Well, there's a wisp hanging out over here anyway. Oh, I'm going to need a lot of these things. And this is why I went Nidus. Pretty much can't die. Also Tentaball. I don't think there's anything in the cave entrance that I can mine. I think mining is, uh... I think mining is instanced. Per person, unfortunately. Oh, I see. Go inside the cave for mining. That's a good point. I usually just run, or run around outside, but that is actually... A decent point. Go for the caves. Definitely a lot of mining spots in here. I'm just reminded of the old days where I was training my mining up and wow, god that was awful. I uh... I miss World of Warcraft. I think still. It was still probably one of my favorite MMOs to date. Where the hell is this one? Oh, there it is. Just because of, like, the sheer amount of stuff that you could do and, like, um, work on it at a given time. And, like, how easy it was to just zone out. Like, I love Warframe, but it's a little harder to just zone out and just do whatever. Uh, over the course of the game, you actually have to try. Which makes the gameplay more interesting, 100%. But it also does make, um, uh, does mean, like, Super repetitive grinding tasks are painful, in comparison. Let's see. I guess I really should just go into the caves instead of trying to go on the overworld. Overworld is way less effective. Oh, we had another one. Ah, I was standing on it. Well, this will solve some problems. Oh, there it is. Max duration on Zephyr is fun on planes. Yeah, I uh, I was gonna try and build my Zephyr for for fun times, and then I heard uh, Zephyr Prime's coming next week, which I'm actually I'm really excited for that. And they've already reworked her to not be uh, totally garbage, right? I think she's still much more of like a mobility frame. Oh, I got target acquired. Awesome. I don't actually know if I have target acquired. I don't have a good gun for this. I forgot I've still got my Baza. Whoops. Oh. Okay, three. Ah, there it is. Yeah, my Baza will be fine for this. I mean, if you guys go idle on hunting... Uh, without, without me, I'm going to be in trouble. I do not have the equipment for that. I still wish uh, Cetus on the Plains of Eidolon was actually just like a town inside. And like you didn't have to load in and out of the zone. Would have made life a little bit easier. But I think that's mostly just me. Oh, this will solve some problems. It's also probably the most engaging of footage I have ever created for this game. I, uh... I don't mind mining. But it definitely does make me feel really unoriginal. Unfortunately, uh... The, uh, the comment I always get when I, when I'm doing stuff like this is like, Do it off camera, and I'm like, okay, there is no, there is no off camera for Wanderbot. Oh, there it is. You can try, try drawing Skitter. I'd rather draw draw Skitter uh, in Illustrator. Trying to draw. Oh God, it's like the worst. So I'm um I'm a professional artist by training, kind of, sort of. Um, you know, I it was my it, I was originally going to be a professional artist, 
Um, and there's nothing like being decent at artwork or whatever, and then having to use really, really awful drawing tools. Uh, what is it? Drawful, I believe? I think I might have to give up on this one. I am not seeing it. Because I get it to like seven. It's up here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, geez, that's awkward. But yeah, it is not fun trying to, um... It is not fun trying to do artwork. Uh, when you know you can do it better on another pro program, but you're stuck using a, an inferior one. So, we used to play Drawful, uh, as part of our Catterday streams. And, uh... It just wasn't... <laughs> it was not easy. Uh, it's like being able to run, and then, uh, somebody puts, like, rocks in your shoes, and it's like, Alright, now run a marathon, and you're like, There's rocks in my shoes, and they're like, run anyway, and you're like, ah. That's how it feels. 